Like we all kind of had that thought at first yeah. until we understood the back end. Mm. So like uh, you lose out not knowing what a person knows that has reached the goal that you want to reach. Yeah. So think about it like this. If we go to college and a professor is teaching how to do real estate, right? Mm. But we ask them, do you have real estate? Do How many properties do you have? Mm -hmm. And they say, I don't got none. I'm just teaching y'all this. Mm. Like, hmm. So you're going to teach me how to get, do a lot of this real estate stuff and get properties oh, yeah. that you don't even have none. Yeah. Just the difference. Now I go to my guy, my mentor, who I'm gonna get a mentorship from, he got 30 properties. He didn't fail, he didn't have experience, he didn't do did good. He made, he's making seven figures with getting all these properties. I go to him and say, hey, however you did that stuff, just teach me the blueprint, but how did you do it? Mm. And the same thing in the streets. Yeah. How, how you get, give me the plug. <laughs>
I don't even know what I'm looking at. What is this? Okay, so this says my business name. What does it say? Read it. Oh, yeah. Smitty Wealth Enterprise LLC. Okay, and it says read the top part. It says the calendar month. Okay. And then how much? It's a 136. Six. Yeah. Oh, you know yeah. what I mean? I go back another month for you. Okay. That's average about a month. So you do that times 12. What is that, though? What, what, what am I looking at? Just like all my business. This is what I'm making per you month. No, I'm saying, like, what is that? App? Oh, this I, is my merchant account. So uh, you, you ever heard of GOAT? Nah, see, you know, I ain't getting this. I guess this is for only like a. a, a Get a certain type of money because you know I ain't never so, hear that type of. We put that right there. What you say? Okay. That that's that's the strike. You okay, know what okay, I'm saying? Okay, but okay. I show, I show you real numbers <laughs> okay, too. You okay, know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, All right. But, you know what I mean? That's just, that's just one account right there. You know what I'm saying? This is fine. This is liquid cash. Are and you, assets. Are you opening a bank account? Yeah, he showed me a bank I showed, account. I showed him a Stripe he me and a bank. I don't know. He I showed him a Stripe and a bank account. He showed account. me an app. You showed me a bank account. That ain't no app, man. He's got an app, man. Get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> and I show you, oh, we got multiple bank accounts. Nah, you know right, now nah, I wanted to set. But it ain't no. But good. What I wanted to do was, I wanted to set the stage. He's doing, he doing right, man. He's making sure you look good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I wanted to set the stage to make sure, um, just to let people know that Wayne talking it's to anybody. You feel me? So, I don't even want to. Part of me don't even want to start with you because yeah. I feel like you've been told your story so many times. Yeah. I'm not as familiar with you. For sure. My my apologies. I ain't do the right preparation. You feel me? You won't blame it on me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but um, I, I'm pretty sure you told the same story a lot of times. How you just getting into telling people my story, bro? Oh, for real? Yeah, I'm okay, coming. So I'm coming if, into it. If you don't mind, let's take a step back and you can yeah. start uh, while you get started with yeah. the credit. Yeah. Um, so I came I came into the game from a friend of mine. A friend of mine was doing it first. So right. I'm from Chicago, right? Uh, man, eighty percent, ninety percent of people out there not on nothing. But right. uh, so I wasn't exposed to the credit side, the business side. You know, making money legit way. Right. It was always some other stuff. But what he did was he did it like a little learning binge. So he he went out and he was doing a learning curve of getting a mentor, learning about business, learning about real estate and business. So he came back to us and he he was telling us at first like. Hey, y'all need to do X, Y, and Z, and we overlooking it. Like, man, we've been doing what we doing. Like, all right, we hear you, but we not really feeding into him. Until he came back one day, and then he showed us, all right, I got a proof for twenty thousand today. Mm. All right, now I opened my eye. I was like, all right, hold on. Well, he got a what? A proof for a twenty thousand dollar credit card. Okay, okay. And then that, I just needed to have that one conversation about it first, because it didn't. It, how long it took me to save up twenty k? Besides you getting approved for it in one day, I had an instant trigger in my mind, like. I, it's something out here that's in the world that I don't know about that I could be tapping into that can really probably change some shit nice. that's going on. So, uh, so he started basically getting all the information he got and he kind of brought it to me and then I started learning about it. Mm-hmm. And then I just got deep into it, bro. I got intrigued because I'm like, then he started talking about, all right, you can get 50 k get 100 k And I thought, I'm thinking like, all right, man, come on now, you over-exaggerating. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? But that's 100 k that, when that's soon light. As I, soon as I seen it, that's light. As <laughs> soon as I seen it was real, I'm like, all right, this is what I need to spend my time with. I need to focus with, forget all the other stuff I was doing because that ain't never got me access to this type of money that that's fast. Hard. So it made sense to me very quickly. I'm like, all right, if I could get access to man, 100K in seven days, 10 days, whatever I'm doing, that's not it. Right. That's it this right the there. Way. So uh, I didn't want to learn the binge myself, probably six to eight months. I'm getting, I'm getting coaches, I'm getting mentors. That's taking hard. masterminds, I'm going to events, and then uh, it kind of shifted my whole like 360. Okay. Now I'm starting businesses. Now I got good credit. Now I'm leveraging it. Man, I'm trying to have know? some fun. Y'all, you say y'all don't want to drink. Yeah, uh-huh. Let's get this. I'm going to get some cups, man. Let's get it. I'm gonna <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, we're going to make it right. Her, yeah, yeah. her. <laughs> he is? Yeah. Uh, I'm out, out of focus. Mm-hmm. Just moving. Look into the camera. Like, open your eyes. Alright, how we looking now? Straight. Appreciate you, bro. Mm-hmm. Look at Sean Ray. Hey, but yeah. make sure, hey, check me out. Check me out. Hey, but check me out. Check me out. Hey, but make sure. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. All right, but so damn, I was looking clean. Heard you. <laughs> I doesn't hurt you. <laughs> I kill you with that hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> that's not New York. Yeah, that's the New York. Then we got stuff up for the top. It was that bad? Oh, that's a lot. We just did a lot. We just did a whole lot. I think he can plug him in now too, and just give him his flow. Nah, I'm the vibe already. I feel like I'm on the block talking to the homies about. <laughs> I'll be back it. talking to my guys at home in Chicago. Yeah. That's how I be though, because I gotta talk. I gotta break you this gotta shit break down it to them. their language. So yeah. I got some good. I wasn't gonna get y'all this, but 
Fuck it. I look like a little steep. I look like a little steep. You know what I'm saying? What's this shit? This ain't Bel Air, though. What this is? Don't ask me questions on camera and shit. Yeah, I cut that out. Yeah, it's Bel Air. It's Bel Air. Nah, it's um, it's tequila. Oh, it's, it's, a, it's a Nayo though. Okay, it's not. Bet. It's not Blanco. All right, bet. I know you might see clear. You might think it's Blanco. Can you want some of that? Yeah, you want some? Okay. All right. I don't drink that. Hold on. For the bird, this is good though. Just talk to me. No, I'm ready. Like, what's yo, up? so that's a that's that's a play. Yeah. I always wanted to ask you this question though, because okay. I know your story a little bit. Came in real estate, right? Yeah. Well, all of it is real estate. You came mm. in doing the, the mm. houses, renting property. But you're trying to finesse, basically. Facts. Just yeah, yeah. basically that's trying to, you know, you stay in the house for like over 30 days type shit. Yeah, yeah. And you can't get them out. So you had to pay somebody to get them out, right? That's a fact. First of all, what the f what, what was the first thing that was on your <laughs> mind when you give a $2,000, right, to get out your spot? Yeah. And they say, but you got to give me a story. It's like, bitch, just gave you <laughs> Like, what do you mean? Uh, like, nigga, just gave you two bands. Yeah. Get the out. Yeah. Now you still, at, bro. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't nah, know if I nah, had that I'll much patience. It. That's, but that's right there. That's the battle. You feel me? Of coming from the streets one way, but now I'm a true professional. You know right, what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's yeah. like, damn. Like, I do be having these type of emotions, but at the same time, I'm like, yo, I got more to lose. Like, Facts. I'm worth way more. Facts. Plus, when I sell a crib, I'm going. That, you that's, get that back. Yeah, that's yeah. gonna be nothing. But the man in me, like the emotional part first. I do go through that process, but then when I think about the bigger picture, it's like, all right. Facts. It's yeah. like, bro, I'm, I just gave you two bands. First of all, yeah. that's a whole play in itself now. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. yeah. Like, they, well, they can't do that no more. Now, that was during COVID. Cause you during, can't do that no more? I heard they was doing that in well, LA. Like, people just. Squad. So during, during COVID, they had an eviction ban where literally you couldn't even evict nobody, even if they owed money. It was That, that was a, a law. Mm. But they just lifted it, so now I could go through the court process and get people evicted. Yeah. That okay. was during that time, and people was taking advantage of it. Like, I'm uh, just standing uh, there, <laughs> paying rent. I ain't got it. What you do? What, what you gonna do? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I had to get creative. All Yo, right. so many ways to make money, bro. Yeah. Y'all now doing, I know. Y'all doing it like different, separately, and shit like that. But if I had to, like, I don't know, just pop, shit, like, I'm. I'm pretty sure you do what you do because you yeah. think it's the best way. Yeah. You do what you do because you think it's the best way. Next. <laughs> why is it like? Why is your way really the best way? Why is your way better than his? Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's better than his or not. I'll just tell you, like, look, <laughs> look, nah, cause look, 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 look. <laughs> why so, getting a storage unit better than with credit? Well, you need credit to do the storage unit. That's the thing. So, like, all right, if Boom Talk was here. Him. Then we could have had that conversation because yeah. okay. he in the residential and we do it all the time. I'll be going back and forth for them. Yeah. But I need credit to even do what I'm doing over here. So, so it's not even a it's not a yeah, it's not a competition. Yeah, yeah. So why is it better than Boom? Um he should be <laughs> yeah. cool. You ain't here right now, Boom. So you, it is what it is. Yeah, you know I mean, but so for me, the reason like with self storage, I can make multiple streams of income from mm -hmm. one acquisition, right? For me. I'm not like I say it all the time, right? I'm not trying to take thirty years to get to a certain goal. I need to do it in ten. I'm right. I need to move fast. You know what I'm saying? So I gotta buy three, four, five properties a month to get the type of cash flow that I make on the self storage, right? right? So when I go buy self storage, you know when we talked about it last time, partner with U-Haul. Mm -hmm. So now U-Haul is running a business. I don't even have to run it, but now I'm making six figures easily just by all right, renting out the unit, partnering with U-Haul, putting vending machines on the facility and I don't need to buy the vending machines, right? I call a vending machine company. They come in. They put the vending machines on the facility. They put the snacks in, the drinks. If it's expired, you just give me my 30%. I'm like the plug, right? right. So it's like because I provide the space, you give me my – I'm taxing you. Facts. I got the storage facility. Put the vending machines there. Moving company. Yo, I'm going to refer you a bunch of business. Give me 30%. You haul, you can run your transportation, give me 30%. So now I got multiple streams out of one hub. Bro, I just sound, need to do that once a year. It sounds better than a dope game, bro. It know? is. <laughs> it is better than a dope game. To the business world. Yeah, I'm running bro. a whole a cult, yeah. like organization over here, bro. Like, that's it's, crazy. Bro. Yeah. Bro. So wait, 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 wait. For, because, and again, I'm the outsider, right? So yeah. this is strictly for game for probably like me, right? Mm -hmm. I know y'all been on mad platforms who really like talk that yeah. And I ain't even about to try to step in that lane. I'm just letting <laughs> you know. So, but a lot of things I'm gonna ask probably be it might sound dumb to y'all, but it's probably around regular mm -hmm. that probably who don't know. So I'm just being straight with you. So for y'all audience, the people that already know y'all, because mm -hmm. y'all probably like well, I already know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared, but whatever. Yeah. So like, 
I'm assuming from the outside looking in, the storage unit game ain't most ain't the most popular thing. Like everybody, popular? yeah, it ain't the most popular. Yeah, like no. everybody want to get the real estate, want to get a crib, yeah. flip it, sell it, all that, rent property, all that. Yeah. If you had to like, I don't know, could you? If you had to like give game on why, bro, not even like the cons of real estate, but why is it better or how they should get into it? Like, how would you even approach that with your homie, just a regular homie that don't really know? Yeah, so I break it down and I, I love this vibe right here, right? Because I be, you know, wanting to give the game to people that's in the streets and letting right. them know like, yo, bro, like I just, I actually changed my shirt, but I got a whole brand, the street credit, the business credit, right? Mm. So I'm like, yo, the way I break it down, if I'm in the streets, and I'm supplying somebody, and you go on this block, you on that block, you on block on that block. Like we could do it differently, and now I don't got to worry about ducking and look. You know what I'm saying? It's a mm -hmm. different way. So I go buy the self storage facility. You, you got, all you got to do is come to the table with 10 percent down, right? Mm -hmm. So if you find a let's let's use 500 thousand for example, right? Which you can, you could get a facility for 500 thousand. You say your first one was like seven something, right? Yeah, seven fifty. So you find a facility for 500 thousand. Mm -hmm. You got to come to the table with 10 percent down. That's 50 thousand. You get with Smitty, he could easily show you how to, and we we do it right here on live, right? Yeah, yeah. he easily right show now. you <laughs> how up? to go and get fifty thousand. I want you to like do Don't that for us. No, if he got good credit, if he got, he got the, if he got good credit, oh, I could no, do it for him. I could pay for some straight lines. Well, you got a business? <laughs> Hold up, you got a business? Yeah. Cause I, I, we got to we could do the we, talk we, to me talk to me give me right let's we go we could get him something right now if the uh, business right now let's it go depends, don't nah, play. it, 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 it got to meet a requirement see? it's a requirement that got to be met uh if we got you like a 680 700 Six, you know I a run for the, for the, uh, it don't happen that fast line. it don't happen that fast it's and like it's not just about that though it's just that's that's what they believe yo so so the first initial thought for people that don't know is that's the first thing they hear is you can do trade lines to fast track it which that's somewhat right but it's not think about it like this trade lines are only for like Think of it as like cologne or perfume. Mm. You clean the credit, you build the credit, you spray on the tray lines with a perfume. Cool, yeah. But you can't do it when you dirty. Meaning if it's something bad on it's there. Still it's still gonna stink. It's thank you. So then so now you gotta get in the shower, clean up, put your clothes on. Now you spray the cologne on. Same thing with credit. You gotta clean it up, build you up, and then spray the tray lines on with the cologne and perfume. All right, so hold on. Yeah, hold on. Let's get back to hold on. But I wanna <laughs> talk to like I wanna talk to the people that's in the street right now that don't got time to fix their credit or they want to do something quicker, right? Because it is obviously to get the most money. Nah, I'm saying, give me some money right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what yeah, talking about? Give me some so money we, right like, now. We, we, I want to, we'll, we'll figure it out, right? Cause, <laughs> look, because it's a play that we could run where you just pull your, your business credit, you feel me? And you could get 15,000. I don't got no guns number or nothing like that though. Oh, see then, yeah, you need I a I keep dance. trying to tell you, you gotta, you gotta have a stuff. Right, yeah. <laughs> I got the LLC, but don't you, you gotta get, you gotta do You, you gotta EIN? Yeah, yeah. You, but, but I don't. you need a dance. You, yeah, I don't know how, I, I ain't up there. All right, how so do you, you even do that? Uh, it's really going on dmb.com yeah. and be able to sign one up for free. You can do that for, for free. free. Yeah, dmb.com, sign up for free, man. And attach All right, but look, let me. Get in your bag, get in your bag. All right, cool, so run the play, right? Um, and I teach other ways, right? You go upstart. Upstart is a loan company, mm, and they, they finance you when you got bad credit. So if you in the street and you got bad credit, it's high interest rate, but you still be able to go get something if you know that you got a plan to go yeah. double up the bread, yeah, right? I got you. That 50000 down, I go buy a self-storage facility. Mm. So now I start to network with other people, other businesses in the area and see how I could draw you in so we can make money together. So if I come to you and I'm like, yo, Jay Hill, listen, you got a podcast studio, right? Mm-hmm. Well, what if I and you building a brand, right? No, for sure. Well, what if I showed you how you with your brand and if what you've been been able to build, I can help you buy so store. Forget no, forget even buy. I'll help you build out four or five content studios at my storage unit. And now you set up people's studio That's the same way you right got there, it. Yeah. And now you charge them and it's my facility. I'm just saying, yo, J Hill, give me give me twenty, thirty percent. That's a point. But I give you five spots, right? Rent free. You set up the cameras, you dress it up, soundproof, however you do. That's your lane, it's not mine. I'm giving you the space, just give me 20, 30%. That's a play. So you run it, you, you do things like that, you got the space, but now other, you're giving other people opportunities and you still make bread off of what they doing. Damn, that's hard. Because like, we do it all the time. You got storage units, do a Did podcast you, do you studio. You said you was going to do that. We're in the process play? of building it right now. What's but we've biggest? I, I've seen other people actually do it because they couldn't afford a space like so this. So what's the biggest unit though? A big unit. This is right here. This is a unit right here. Well, this is a, what, it's this on, is probably like a smaller 20 one. by So you got 10. a unit bigger than this? Hell yeah. yeah. Cause people put cars in there. Yeah. People put like, you know, oh, people. Nah, y'all going crazy. <laughs> yeah. Man. Nah, it's crazy. So speaking of the credit, right? Mm -hmm. 
because I got my credit fixed before. Yeah. It was lit, right? Yeah. But, you know, I mean, some shit Yeah, for sure. Yeah. One thing I understand, though, was I feel like just be finessing the credit companies, right? Get your credit up. They be, like, calling, get it off. But you still owe the money, though, because I feel like I was still getting calls, like, yo, you still Oh, no, 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 no. So it is like that. So, like, you can't. You can't fall on 50K and just because we remove it from your credit report, the 50K vanish. Mm -hmm. It don't vanish, bro. It, it's still, you owe it in real life, but this okay. is what we do. We clean your credit up so we can still use it as leverage to get access to the bag, Facts. even though we still owe that company money in real life. Okay. But we still want to get to the bag, though. You know what I mean? So we don't want to get held back twice. You know what okay. I mean? Okay. Okay. That's crazy. Yeah. So what's the most important part about the credit? Is it the... Is it because there's a lot of things mm -hmm. that go to this? I think it's like what uh, thirty percent is utilization. So I tell people to keep it under ten. The banks tell you keep it under thirty percent. I tell you keep it under ten percent. But that's for each line, though, not the whole thing, right? Just credit cards. So the usage on how much money you're gonna use on the credit card. So if I got a thousand dollar credit card, mm -hmm. I will tell you keep it under hundred dollars with the utilization Facts. for when it's time for us to get the bag. Okay. Because that's what the banks want you to see that you ain't maxing out all their money. You know, they take it can lend you some more money. Mm. You know. So how hard is it to get like late payments off? Uh, it's very hard. It ain't no easy thing. It ain't no just bam, bam, bam. That's not. I'm not going to lie to people So like everything that. else is pretty much easy. But the yeah, it's 50-50. It's Some it, Everybody's situation is different. Mm -hmm. So s some people's things, I can come to your credit report, try to clean it up, and stuff can happen in 30 days. Mm -hmm. I can use the same strategies and use on somebody else. That stuff don't work the first 30 days. It don't work the first like, 60 days. But in the 90th day, it came off. You know what I mean? So it's different variables for different so people. So wait, why don't the... Uh the trade lines work. If if my, my if my man shit lit and yeah. I put his shit on mine, why yeah, that shit so don't work? it work. But think okay, think about this. Let's just say you owe Sprint a thousand dollars. Yeah. Right. But then you saying I I got owe Sprint a thousand dollars and my credit score a little down as five ninety six hundred. Mm -hmm. Then you like all right, my guy got this good a credit card. I'm gonna get on there and authorize you. They finna boost me up. I still owe Sprint. You still owe they Sprint. Still look at that. Why would I give you ten thousand dollars? You still owe Sprint a thousand dollars. You won't even pay back Sprint a thousand dollars. We trying to get ten thousand dollars from us. How does that look? Okay. How does that look to you? I'm saying no, if, no, if no, I, no. yeah, if I owe, if you know I owe Mogul four thousand dollars and I try to come ask you for five thousand, you come like, hey, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, bro, like, yo, you want to yeah, pay him yeah, back yeah. first? Yeah, you like, why are you coming to me, bro? Like, we're good. Like, that's exactly how the banks look can't at get it. Get your bread back. <laughs> yeah. so exactly. Okay. So give me a uh, you give me the play on on uh, self story, right? Give me a play like a a easy play, like not too complicated. Mm -hmm. Oh, right now. Uh, okay, so with credit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so a uh, uh, easy play. I, I got a bank called BMO Harris Bank. Mm -hmm. They are lending. They are lowering the lending criteria right now. They got a fifty thousand dollar business credit line of credit and a business credit card that you can get up to fifty thousand mm -hmm. dollars. But you only got to have a six twenty with this one. Mm -hmm. Usually they don't do that, but they got a specific program from BMO Harris Bank that y'all can go get. Y'all can go get up to fifty thousand dollars if you black or Latino. It's a specific program for us. I don't know why they did it, but they did it. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you got a 620, you're eligible to get the business credit card and the line of credit, and you can total up to how much you can get with those products for $50,000 on entry. So if you got a 620, you can still get 50 k mm. Yo, so let me let me ask you this then, bro, because you be doing the meetings with your family and yeah. shit. So, like, before you get this away to the public, and like, you know, the mastermind you're about to do, you ain't going to bring your peoples over to your crib? Or your peoples got to pay, too. Oh, nah, they don't got to pay. Because <laughs> you got to meet what, like every year or something? Every year, like every year. Come on, man. Like, you ain't going like, <laughs> to pull them out to the crib lunch nah, or some nah, shit? Nah, 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 nah. We going to do this first, and then we'll, <laughs> we'll spend a block on it. They're going to be all right. Yo, so I think something that y'all understand, and I, and I, and I might, I, I could joke about it, but it's real. Being in the room, right? As much as I could talk about masterminds and shit and all that, <laughs> mm -hmm. I ain't going to lie. That shit, <laughs> that shit is real. Perfect, perfect example, right? And I, you could correct me, but I'm not really too sure, but I think the first time I met you was your first time meeting Shane. That's a fact. This all in the studio. What do you think? You're like Diddy all in the yeah. video. Like, yeah. It's like, that's your man's life yeah. for real. You're yeah. like, mm -hmm. that's crazy. So, and you had to you had to pay for the opportunity. That's a fact. But I'm damn, I'm sure it was damn shit worth it. Of course. Hell yeah. You see, we, we connected, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it was bigger than that. Facts, no cap. I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, you know, I ain't no little, little fish, you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> but nah, so like, talk to me about, <clears throat> even if it's not masterminds, like, let's say uh, mentorships, mm -hmm. uh, everything that to the average person, even to me initially, right? I'm paying this, you know, $25,000 to talk yeah. to him, man. Yeah. 
my face. Like we all kind of had that thought at first mm. until we understood the back end. Mm. So like, uh, you lose out not knowing what a person knows that's reached the goal that you want to reach. Yeah. So think about it like this: if we go to college and a professor is teaching how to do real estate, right? Mm. But we ask them, "Do you have real estate? Do how many properties do you have?" Mm -hmm. And they say, "I don't got none. I'm just teaching y'all this." Mm. Like, hmm. So you're gonna teach me how to get, do a lot of this real estate stuff and get properties that you don't even have none. Yeah. Just the difference. Now I go to my guy, my mentor, who I'm gonna get a mentorship from. He got 30 properties. He didn't fail. He didn't have experience. He didn't do did good. He made he's making seven figures with getting all these properties. I go to him and say, hey, however you did that stuff, just teach me the blueprint. But how did you do it? Mm. And the same thing in the streets. Yeah. How, how you get? Give me the plug. Now nigga, pay for the 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 plug for the uh, finesse for the laptop. <laughs> nigga, I didn't yeah. hear. Like, y'all need 10 bands. I'm going to show you how to do all this. You know, all right. <laughs> it's the same concept. It's just just, yeah. a, just yeah. you twisting into the to the, to the the yeah. other world. You know what I mean? It's, it's what's crazy concept. is this, right? Like, I be telling my homies this because I be like, yo, I see y'all run a whole operation. Mm. Getting up 5 in the morning, taking trips, like, getting people. Listen, I got to get the numbers. Like, change, yo, everything. No, there's a lot to go into that. A whole operation. You I'm feel mad me? I missed that way, but. So with that same approach and mindset, if you could show that you could do it, if you do it over here, it's a different reward. You feel what I'm saying? So when it comes to the mentorships, right, for me, my first mentorship, I paid $5,000. I ain't going to hold you. I told my dad. He said, hell no. Yeah. Yo, YouTube that shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. You know what I mean? But, like, once I paid the first 5000 and I made my money back, mm -hmm. I said, you open it. Like, mm -hmm. I'll pay whatever. How much? 20 30 yeah. 40 50 Cool, because yeah. I know I'm going to get it back. You know what I'm saying? Like, But how do you, like, because, again, this is for y'all professionals, right? Yeah, yeah. How do you know, outside of the first one, right, how do you know it's worth it? And then you won't, and you know you're going to get, let's say, you or you watching this, you watch Instagram, you see Neil, mm. I think it's 40 bands. This is 75. Yeah, 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 <laughs> 75. <laughs> that one piece, 75. How do you know as a business uh, entrepreneur that you're going to get it back from that one? Or should we, is it kind of like the hoes? You know, they say like, what they say, like dating your lane type shit. Is it, yeah. do you jump out there for the 75 to try to get it? Or is it like you? Not nah, certain so ones with certain people. Yo, this episode is sponsored by The Morning Meetup. Man, shout out to my guy, David Shines, man. He's probably one of the few people I know who actually built multiple multi-million dollar businesses, right? He created The Morning Meetup to help other entrepreneurs do the same thing. Now, listen, as an entrepreneur myself, I know how hard it can get, especially when we start making money and we get to like this financial cap that we can't get past. And honestly, let's be real. They say it ain't what you know, it's who you know. We probably can't get past this cap because we either, one, outgrew the people around us, or two, we just being lazy and weighing in the rooms we need to be in. It's just plain and simple. But trust me, this is your time because the morning meetup is that room we got to be in. It's filled with, filled with entrepreneurs getting to it. They reading different books every month, right? They holding each other accountable. And it's just honestly just something dope to be a part of. So listen, if you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to get to this bag, you're trying to flourish more than you've been flourishing now... You got to go to the morningmeetup.com. That's www.themorningmeetup.com and join now. Let's get to it. I see you there. You got to first, you like, all, right, all seriousness, like, you got to be the person ready for that shit. You feel me? Because mm. I also paid 10000 for a mentorship that I wasn't ready for and I lost the mean? Tell, tell them how, I Meaning, like, yo, <laughs> I paid 10000 for a mentor and he started telling me to run certain plays. I'm like, oh shit, I still had a nine to five job. He telling me like, yo, you got to come out to Miami. We got this conference. I got to go get P. I got to see if I got PTO. Mm. So it was like, are you even ready to be in a mentorship with Neil? You yeah. pay 75 bands and he tell you like, yo, listen, Jay Hill tonight, we got to be there. And I'm all the way in New York. You got to catch the fight now because it's time to get it done. Okay. So you got to be in a certain position. So I just say take certain levels. Like start somewhere. And this is why this five-day challenge is perfect for everybody that's starting out because it's only $297 and we breaking it down the most simple way and then you could upgrade from that point and, and go on. But we making it very simple for the everyday person because we know yeah. and 50, then, 75, you ain't ready. I think you gotta be in the right mind frame for those. Those are called high ticket, high level yeah, mentorship for the 75. Okay. Uh, I wouldn't say for the average Joe that never took a mentorship and don't understand the concept of it and haven't been through this stuff yet. You start with this moment. You hear you see price points of 500, 2,000, 5,000. Put your put your put your work yeah. in on there first, and then you work your way up. Just like you don't get no 100k car out the gate. You, mm -hmm. you get a 20,000 dollar car, 50,000 yeah, dollar car. Then you work your way up. Okay. I think I take that same approach. I wouldn't just jump out and say, but when you get to the certain point where you made enough money off you taking other mentorships, you understand now. Mm -hmm. Cause I didn't probably pay four or five thousand, but I made six figures off what that person has taught me. 
You get what I'm saying? And it'd be a small piece of information too, though. It don't be, be like, oh, it'd be one nugget, like, oh, sweat. But you can get this shit on YouTube, though. And. It ain't the same. It ain't the same. It ain't the same bro, at why all. Not? Why not? So, so say you're watching a video, right? And then you got a question. How could you get your question answered if you're not, you're not, you don't understand mm-hmm. something or you don't know the next step to it? He just told you that part and that part only. You can't ask no questions. Mm-hmm. You can't go further deeper. You can't, uh, if you're stuck, if you want to elaborate, if you want to have a conversation back and forth about it, you can't. You just that. And then some, and then some of it's too scattered. It's like this, 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 this. Now your brain, like, uh, <laughs> which one? See, I'm trying to ask the, the questions that the niggas going that want to ask. So they, they <laughs> no, no, nah, those are good questions yeah. because those, that's what they be saying. You yeah. asking the right on question yeah. that people be saying that I be trying to explain to them, like, nah, if yeah. it was that easy, all of us would be millionaires off YouTube, bro. Yeah, like, that's a fact. But I'm saying, like, I see niggas like y'all, like, even Neo, like, David Shane's, like, Niggas is giving the game away. Like, no, we sit sure. here and do this interview. And but what I will say, though, yeah. what I will say, it is different when you pay for something. Though. Yeah. It is different. Yeah. Like, you, you're going to listen pay, differently. You pay attention. Like, you're listening differently. When you, you pay, you pay attention. Notes. It's free. You just like, all right, that was cool. Yeah, and all. Right. You ain't going to execute on it fast. So, let me ask y'all this then. Before I got one question I want to ask you. Before I get to that point, when it comes to this mentorship, right? When y'all doing interviews, are you holding back or you genuinely just giving niggas the shit? Nah, we give out the whole shit because, like, I know at the end of the day, it's like you're not gonna stop me from winning. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like I'm, I'm gonna win regardless because I know the plays. I got the game. I'm doing it anyway. That's I want you to win. To be honest with you, but the other part is how many people really gonna execute? That's the key. Niggas yeah, get excited five. just to know it, That's but how five. many people actually do it? Ninety percent. So it don't even bro, matter. Don't do. But it. we giving out the game. Hell yeah. Damn. Ninety percent people don't do stuff. Yeah. You tell them. They can hear it. it sound good. I can tell you get a hundred k, you still won't go learn the credit game. A person like that's like that's crazy to me. All right, before yeah. I get into my next serious question, fuck that. Hold up. <laughs> no cap, bro. Talk yeah. to me. Well, you probably did. You from New York and shit. Yeah. You probably got this thing. You from Chicago. We, mm-hmm. you from, I'm from Baltimore. <laughs> when you first hit, like, six figures, right? Mm-hmm. Like, how did it feel when you first hit it? And then, like, after, like, a month or two, like, a couple, or well, a year. I mean, not even a month. <laughs> let's say a year. Right? That's shit's funny. crazy, right? Like, nah, the fuck? Uh, I- Bro, I thought I was the man. I was up, bro. What you talking about? <laughs> I was up. I was handed out. Like, yo, then on me tonight, listen, yeah. we go, like, Ruth Chris, yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? So I was yeah. up. Then I started investing in other businesses, thinking that I just got this shit down. So what, you got your shit all, like, one time? One time, I had a six-figure, that was my very first deal. I mean, oh, that's I different. Six-figure check. That's different. All right. That's different. Well, so you say, like, a six-figure, like, business? Like, I got a job. I, had, nigga, I, I remember one time, before, like, you know, like, before they could start getting money for real. Yeah. Well, y'all getting money. I'm still regular, right? but before niggas start really getting it, everybody was dreams like six. I gotta make six figures, like six figures. Mm-hmm. That nigga, I'm that it nigga. Was. I make six yeah. figures. It was. I got a job. Job pay six figures. Mm-hmm. Nigga still struggling. Like the yeah. fucking six yeah, figures. Yeah, that's, <laughs> like, the fuck that's is that? the job though, because now yeah. you're not even bringing that home. You're yeah. not, and I, I, I hate cause cause that sell, I, I just know I can talk to y'all about this because like I be like, man, I sound so ungrateful because like it was a point in time where I was yeah. struggling. For sure. But I'm still struggling. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, but wait, hold up. Damn, that can go on to a great point. I know y'all can teach on. A lot of times we do get this money, we level up in mm-hmm. the pockets, and we try to level up in the lifestyle, and that's the worst thing to do, though. Yeah, I, I did it. I did that too, bro. Uh, I did it fast because I wanted I wanted the Rolex, I wanted the jewelry, I wanted the nice car. I went and got my stuff fast, mm. and I learned quick that that's why my that's why my money got back low too mm. quick. I supposed to invest it first and create the passive income off of it first, and then got the things I wanted off the passive income. It would have made things made more sense. Mm. But uh, I, I jumped out there when I made my bread. I got what I wanted, bro. I got my Rolex. I got my chains. I got my car. I got what I wanted to get. But in hindsight, though, was it worth it? Think about uh, it. I I felt motivated and good when I got my accomplished when I got my stuff. That's how I felt personally. Yeah, in sometimes the, that shit feel good. I ain't gonna lie. In sometimes the true them world, dumb be it don't good. it don't mean too much different, but it's just what I what I was desiring to have, and I had to get it, and I got it. And right. then I, what I do like about it, I got it out my system though now. Mm-hmm. So moving mm-hmm. forward, Facts. I don't gotta super super be heavy on trying to get it and work. I got that. I've been had it now. Been I'm there, moving on to bigger and better things. Mm-hmm. Facts. So yeah. You felt the same way, or nah. did you jump out there? You nah, there. nah, I ain't feeling smart. <laughs> yeah, cause like you a smart nigga, <laughs> smart ass. Nigga. I'm in, I'm in real estate. You know what I'm saying? So it's crazy. The rooms that I'm in, if you pull in there with big dog chain and shit, they looking at you crazy. Like, okay, like cause yeah. but they got the rollies though. They got rollies. You right? They got rollies. They got rollies though. But it's just like they, yo, real money is quiet. Mm-hmm. If you out here showing up, I know you ain't really got it. Mm-hmm. Like that. That's how the rooms that I'm in. It's a different type of conversation. I see And that. The thing, it depends on your target audience, too. So I said this the other day. I think uh Finesse Park, I was saying, yo, I, um, I got the AMG, right, the Benz, right? And I pulled up. 
as I as I as I um I got these three storage facilities under contract that I'm buying right now, and I pulled up on the owner, and that he trying to get more money out of the facility. Like, yo, I actually I think it should be. Cause he see your car. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's things like that where I'm like, <laughs> Crazy, I, I gotta man. play like this. Yeah. So it, 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 I guess it. it That's a fact. Though no, you're right. Cause yeah. be on dick. Like fuck out my face. Like, <laughs> you see me pull up in something nice now. You yeah. think I got more? Like, yeah. Some bitch. My bad. My bad. I got <laughs> no, no, no. That's, that's how but people be. charge like contractors <laughs> charge you more. Yeah. Like everybody that do business with you, when they see you got money or think you got money, now they got a crazier invoice for you. Mm. So when you got your first six figures, was it it was like lump sum too, like like him? Uh, no, nah, I made mine over a period of time starting my first business. Okay, uh, when you look back on it, was you like the fuck I made six figures? Or? I look back at it, it was like where it go. I always right. say where it go. When I made my first six figures, like where it go. I made my first seven figures, I'm like where did it go? Yeah, that, you don't be and when you first look, you look at the numbers, you be like, all right, I made it. Yeah, it's coming in, but man, that stuff is gone. Like where did it go? So yo, you being the smart one, right? Like. Out your family and like even like in this conversation you shitting on us you feel me like you got <laughs> nah, to, you did the smart shit let's go <laughs> no, I ain't, no, I'm I'm proud I'm I'm happy for you but you being that smart when catching on quick it seemed like is it hard to be in rooms with, with niggas who don't catch on quick because like a lot of niggas is like us like yeah. a lot of niggas is like man, yeah. fuck yeah. that like nah you, man yeah. you feel me like fuck all yeah. that. Is it yeah, hard to like? That's funny as hell. My brother tell you like, <laughs> like I be getting mad as shit. I gotta go. My patience is low. Fuck like, like I ain't got time for this shit because you really understand, bro. Yeah, you, know don't it, like. Like, you don't get it, bro. So <laughs> I be bad fast, but um, now I'm learning more patience to understand okay. it. You know what I'm saying? But in the beginning, I was just like, yeah, bro, that shit. I can't do it. Yeah, you don't I understand, imagine. bro. I can imagine because yeah. you're different though. Like I mean, yeah. but that's probably like your power. Like like yeah. niggas, I'm I'm glad I had I had I went through it though. You feel me? But every People don't understand that. You don't really have to go through it. Because if mm -hmm. you smart, you could watch a nigga fuck up and be like, mm -hmm. nah, I don't want that. Mm -hmm. But a lot of us is still like kids. We see somebody burn their hand on the stove, fuck it, I'm like, it ain't going to burn me. <laughs> but you was like, nah, that nah. shit going to burn it. Nah. I ain't knowing that shit. So nah. when you got your first secret, because you invested it. I invested into more businesses. Mm -hmm. But those businesses, you know, shit's fell and all that. Well, I mean, and I had to build shit. it back up. But I did invest in more businesses. Yo, yeah. let's talk. Bro, I got this one burning question, but we just, this shit keep getting good. I, I, <laughs> but so, all right, investments. Yeah. yeah. Now, niggas understand that investment is really just an opportunity, but yeah. that shit can fail. Yeah, 100%. Right? Yeah. yeah. But, but you gotta do it. You gotta do it, right? Mm -hmm. How are you? I don't even know how to ask this question, but it's a couple questions in it. Y'all can just talk freely. How do you choose what to invest in? One, right? Um, looking at it the first time you invested in something and it didn't work out, mm -hmm. compared to understanding how it works now and then doing it, just give me your thoughts around all of that shit. Like I'm gonna go first with it. Yeah. Um. I think it got to be something you want to learn and talk about often. It can't, mm. uh, I think that helps it, you know what I mean? Because I'm not about to be trying to be in tight with something so hard about something I don't like, I don't want to be a part of. It's, it's annoying for me to talk about it every day and want to learn about it every day. So mm. I think that helps. You want to be intrigued about it and learn about it and want to know more about it. That helps. But uh, it really ain't no perfect way to say that you're just going, this is the best investment I'm making in my life. It's like it's, it's, we, don't, we don't know the future to say if it's going to mm. happen. But all I do know is that we can't not invest and not double and triple our money. We can't just keep uh, our money being in the same position. That's how you really get rich, I heard. Yeah, like yeah you can't you save your way money. to a million dollars. You mm -hmm. got to invest your way. Because yeah. mm -hmm. like, you never heard nobody say, I just save, 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 and then got a million dollars. Nice. It's all. It's, it's not going to work that way. Right. It's literally you have to take your money to make your money, make you more money for it to multiply that's and then equal up to you to start making that type of money. Nah, that's a fact. That's so. we learned that in school. Uh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's just grade A math. But yo, um to answer that question, like for me, now it gotta make sense with what I'm already doing. Like I can't mm. like I need to get ten million of what I'm doing now before I do some other shit. If I do some other shit, it has to make sense with what I got going on. Okay. You feel me? Cause before I did that, commercial cleaning company, media production. But did company, any of it work? Any of it? Nah, none of it. Nah, but COVID was a big, a good, oh, okay. a big point of it. Like my commercial cleaning had to shut it down because a lot of businesses shut down that I was servicing. It put me out of. But business. that was yours though. When I'm talking about, I'm thinking about investing. other people's businesses. Yes, investing into something that could probably make you money. Oh, damn, that's yeah, a good like. question. Yo, that's crazy. I just we was on um, Justin Owens podcast and mm -hmm. we asked him that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and he gave us some game. Um, but for me right now, it got it like. 
Honestly, when y'all just send me these big ass numbers, you telling me you can't give a nigga. Honestly, I'm not invested in nobody. I'm gonna be. I ain't even gonna hold you. For real? I'm not yeah. even entertaining that's nobody. That's New York shit, bro. I'm not nah, even gonna that's hold that's you. Nah, that's under. Don't like, come fuck around. these niggas. <laughs> but, like I'm on a mission right now. I gotta get thick. Don't even come around me right now with okay. with no bullshit ideas that you're not even gonna be disciplined about. Mm. We give you the bread right now, and then a couple months later, you quit before me. You know what I'm saying? I'm willing to keep it alive, right, and right, you right, ready to. Yeah, yeah, Like nah, I don't because I also because I done been there. My first bro, six figures. I was invested. All right, bro, you got the idea. All right, let's go start the music studio. Okay. Being my, my man's in the street. Yo, bro, y'all rapping. Yo, let's go to the studio. Let's shoot the videos. I'm going to pay for everything. Y'all don't even want to okay. do music. Okay, I feel you. You, what we you doing? the same type of time. No, yeah. <laughs> Because because I, I'm starting I'm starting to get into the mode. I'm working too hard for my money to just be letting somebody else jip it off. Or like, just because you know I got money, you want to put it off on me to fund your situation. Yeah. I mean, even though that's kind of what you would want to do. You, if I got an idea, I don't got the bread. Let me find somebody that I'm close to, probably. Better. But it's 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 like scary. It's like a, it's it's too risky. Mm. I'll I'll take the risk on my calculated risk because they're gonna be strategic. <laughs> but on your, I don't know how. I don't yeah, know I don't your know vibe. You on, like that. I don't know your vibe on how calculated you trying to take this risk, or you are gonna be serious about it, like you say. I ask that because like I know the importance of uh, investing, right? And even like just on a personal level, like my I, I got a a friend, a real good friend that I trust. Me when I'm thinking investments, I'm not really trying to be a part of nothing. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Right, like, <laughs> so I'm like, bro, I'll give somebody that I trusted, you feel me, and I know I can lose it. Hopefully, I don't, cause I ain't really, we ain't coming like that. But yeah. is it? I'll do that. And I was thinking, like, do y'all still do the same shit? Like, even it don't even have to be with friends. It could be somebody you know, like you said, Justin. I think y'all y'all said his name a couple times. Yeah. Yo, shit, bro, I'm about to give you fifty for the podcast, bro. Just give me five percent on the back end, like you, you just. I'm not, I'm not in the space for that right. I was like, I hold you. Like I'm locked in on what I gotta do. Man. Something else is going. Th I can't. Can't no. do it. Probably mm -hmm. like hit me in like two, three years. What would you say? Would you suggest that though? Because now I'm being greedy. I'm. This is mental for me. Because mm -hmm. I'm so trying to invest. It depends shit. on how much money you got sitting around. Like, do mm -hmm. you got that to lose? No, but it's like I trust it. <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> trust you know, ain't I, enough man. for me. That's I ain't gonna hold we like you. we like teaching you the game for you to go out here and do it yourself. But so I don't that got time to do all that. People say that, but you don't got time to stay in the same position either. So, oh, so, so I'm like, yeah, not, not to you, not yeah, to you, not to them, not to them. No, them. Yo, you can talk to me, it's good. <laughs> nah, for real, like, that's, <laughs> but, uh, that's the shit. mind, that's the mindset. <laughs> ain't though. playing with niggas. Nah, for real, you, you don't. You talking about like excuse shit. <laughs> yeah, for real, yeah, exactly. That's how, most of the time it be that, they ain't, they ain't trying to put the work in, they ain't trying to learn and stuff. It's like, bro, you got to think about if you don't do it, man, it's, co it's costing you not to be learning more mm -hmm. and investing your yeah. bread. But, and to your point, I get, you can find somebody to invest your money with. Like, if if he got a deal on the real estate side, he says 100K, he need 40K extra. I'm you pretty sure really, you won't put up that 40 You got to really trust that person, though. It's a different type of, like, it's a different type mm. of trust. And okay. then if you really trust that person, you know you're willing to take that risk. I, I got to see that, your track record, too. Right, yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. What I say mean. that, like, 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 let's say, like, take Shans and uh, Tarek for four seconds. Mm -hmm. Like, I always hear him talking about, like, Tarek and Smith, right? He was like, man, I ain't know nothing about the real estate he was like, I basically just gave it to her, let her do it. Yeah. And that shit work out. So I'm like, man, I, I'm, I'm like you. I'm invested in this 100%. Mm -hmm. But I know because I'm fully invested in it, I ain't gotten time to do nothing else. But I know as a nigga like you or you, well, probably not like y'all niggas, because y'all niggas live. Y'all yeah. doing y'all things. But yeah. it might be a nigga like you doing something else, and it's like, okay, let me. Yeah. That's an opportunity for it though. Not saying you so, can't do it. That's just part of our preference. Yeah, you know what like, I mean? I'm just yeah, I'm just saying <laughs> me right now in this space. I need for you. To me. <laughs> I with, with Shans and Terica, it make cause look at her track record. You know what right. I'm saying? And they got a relationship that's beyond money, yeah. so it's different. Mm -hmm. So if it's a relationship like that and you got a track record, then that's a different conversation. But mm -hmm. just. Cause you be some, like people in the DM, yo, I got a business idea, family. Oh no, I, I got talking about DM, bro, like, fuck bro, bro, I got a business idea. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> like what you did. And, it, and it's tough hey, to choose. Exactly. It's, it's, it's tough to choose, like to say yes to this specific business, your money to come in. Cause like I don't want to lose your money either. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. For take people money on, and then I mess up. I feel bad for, for myself. Oh, I'm already about to take a hit. Feel Facts. bad myself. Now nah, I feel bad for you. And then you ain't even had that much to be wiggle, right. wiggle room. I don't even need them extra demons. Like, <laughs> you keep saying? your own demons. Like, keep this shit to yourself. Keep your so, ideas. Y'all want some more? Yeah. Hey man, y'all take it. Pour your own poison, dog. Nah, that's great. So, all right. The question I want to talk about is something that I'm I'm learning. I ain't into it yet, cause I ain't I don't got nothing else to sell. You good? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Oh, bro, don't be on some bullshit. Yeah, yeah. All right. Burning, burning my chest. Right burn. now, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is, uh, you gotta grow up, man. You're a grown ass man. Nah, I be I, I don't be I don't be on it like that. <laughs> I'm fucking with you, bro. Yeah. Funnels. 
Yeah. Oh yeah. This shit is super important, right? I love. Funnels. I see how you plugging it like yeah, cause you gotta get the thing up to it. That shit's like a fucking headache, but it's important. You yeah. need it. Yeah. It's just like this is like, bro. When you when you when you a kid and you see the bike, I love the bike. I see people making money and uh, it's like I don't know how to ride it yet. Mm-hmm. When you get on it, you wiggle around. You might fall a little bit, but it's, it's more you get into it, the mm-hmm. more you do it, it comes start coming easy to you. Mm-hmm. I know stuff like a back of my hand at first, mm-hmm. but at first I had the same same mindset you had like. Man, what is all this stuff y'all got on these funnels? And I just start learning. But it. that shit seemed like a finesse, bro. What part? <sighs> Nigga, the whole, I'm a trap. I'm going to I'm gonna get your attention. It's not a trap. <laughs> Bet, look, this is what happened. <laughs> I'm going to get your attention. You about to pay ten ninety nine for my my uh my ebook. Uh-huh. Bet, or seven ninety nine for my ebook. <laughs> Boom. Page three of the ebook. I want to teach you how to do this. Boom. I teach you how to work the camera. Why I'm working the camera, it's like a YouTube video. Yeah. Damn. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just thought about it. That mm-hmm. shit get on my fucking nerves. <laughs> I'll be like, I'll be y'all Google some shit like like YouTube, like how to do this. Yeah, so thanks for subscribing. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe to this. And then if you want to know this, you gotta go to my last video. It's like, bro, get to the fucking point. <laughs> like, that's what that shit remind me of. Funnels remind me of like a YouTube video, but I gotta skip to the middle so I can see what the fuck how to really fix this shit. <laughs> yeah. But not nah, like, but it's, it's life. <laughs> it's life in general. Like, look, you go to the airport. Before you get to the when you get in the airport, you got this restaurant over here. You got the gift shop over here. They trying to make you do foreign exchange on your money, depending on where you at. Like they hitting you in the head, and guess what? They charge you ten dollars for a bottle of water, nice. and you gonna pay it? Why? Because mm. of the environment and, and the demand that's yeah. there. So and they force you to because it's you can't a business it in. exactly. So it's it's a business model overall, right? For me, um, with the funnels, it's like you gotta do the funnels because if you give somebody too much at once or right away, they're gonna get discouraged. Mm. So I gotta give you a little bit of, I gotta spoon feed you. Yeah, I'm gonna give you the 1099. Shit. That's some great Let me shit. give you the full, cause now you getting better and better and yeah. then you get the confidence to be up here. If I come yeah. out and get yo your 20K for my program, it's nah, like, bro. I'm out, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Nah. But if I yeah. hit you with the- You work your way up the Boom, 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 now you getting confidence, plus you getting results along the way. Mm. All right, cool, you didn't pay $97 for Smitty ebook, but you didn't learn how to get 30K in funding. All right, so like, you learn and you, it and you build that rapport, and they trust you. Exactly, that too. exactly. Okay, all, y'all niggas all, know nah. something. In the mall, yeah. this is a perfect example that the people at the restaurants in the mall, the uh, food courts that make the most money, is the people that come and give you like little Facts. samples, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Just to get you in to understand that this is good. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Because you might not, you know, you got to understand that it's good first. When I give you this little product, you understand it's good. Now you want to come back for more. Mm-hmm. And you got to think about it like this: it's, it's with you too. So let's just say you want to do one podcast with somebody. And then somebody else coming. Somebody want to do five podcasts. Like I don't want to just do. I want to do five. It's not gonna be the same, right? You mm-hmm. gonna have to. I right, well, you gotta pay a little more. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's more of my time. It's more of my. I'm giving you more. And then you may understand. We did one. Now you understand how the podcast go. You know what I'm saying? Now we can do more. Now we can you know bring people. It's like it's, so. It's like a ladder. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Same kind. Damn, that's hard. I ain't never. That's some good shit. Cause like you get a. It's kind of like you said with the invest on with the mentorships. Like you come in, you want to take it slow, bar mm-hmm. tears. Mm-hmm. Damn. So and you got something for everybody too. <clears throat> So that's the thing too. We want to make sure everybody's taken care of. It's just like the streets. You know what I'm saying? Like I gotta have something for everybody. Mm-hmm. You may not be ready for my 50k program, but for you, you ready for the 97 dollars? If I don't have that 97 dollars available for you, I'm not able to service you. Mm-hmm. And I want to service everybody. I want to make sure everybody lit. This might be a whole hard conversation for y'all. Okay. Because y'all niggas like go get us, right? Yeah. How do somebody? And if y'all can't answer, it's cool. We can skip this shit. But how do it's a it's a it's a specific group of people out there who ain't going to be go getters like you? They ain't gonna be go getters like you. Mm-hmm. Shit, even Bone, I looked up a little bit. They not about to ride around the block and get all these. They ain't doing that, mm-hmm. right? But they still want to make money. How, what are some industries that you think people should get in? And if y'all don't know, we can skip this shit. Yeah, nah. So for me, and I'll pass it to you, Smitty. Yeah. Um, so I have a bunch of people like that. Those are my private investors. You feel me? Mm. So you work a nine to five job. You don't want to take those risks. You don't want to actively hunt down deals, but you want to make some additional money on the side. Okay, cool. I got this storage facility. You can invest X amount of dollars. I'll give you back eight, 10% return. Boom. You feel me? So that's what I do. And for me, I don't got to use any of my own money. I could take my cash and go invest in other businesses and run. That's what I do for people that may want to make money but just don't have that go get spirit and things like that how often does like that wait because now i'm curious now i might not have to <laughs> my man you feel me now? Hold on, hold on. so is this like guarantee or i can't be guaranteed right now. it is guaranteed guaranteed so right now i got three facilities under contract right i got it at a great deal i got it at eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars for all three facilities 
closing costs and everything, we come into the table like ninety five thousand dollars. I'm gonna raise that ninety five mm. through my private investor. So you might come to me like, yo, bro, I got fifty for you. I'll be an investor in these three facilities. How much is that? How much you get back? Yeah, what percentage? Is that? <laughs> 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 nah, we gotta talk about that offline, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, like, <laughs> can't do all that. But okay. you get a return on your money, and I give you a percentage of equity on the back end if we was to refi or sell. Mm. But for you, it's passively working for you. You know what I'm saying? Why I'm doing my little pocket? Why you doing yeah. that? And you could say, yo, I own storage facilities because you t- you do. So you do that shit now, right? Yeah. Now. All right, bet, bet. What about you, bro? Uh, you got you, anything? You you got to be an investor, but I don't. The thing that I do. With my mentorship, I do, I do a lot of stuff online. Mm-hmm. So, when you but for somebody that might not be as driven as you, though, like, do yeah. you have any game for the like? Mm-hmm. It's, mm. If you don't, it's cool. No, I'm, I'm, I, I'm trying to think a little bit, but I can't come up with something at the top of my head that quick. I'm pretty sure you do, bro. My yeah. game is get the fuck up off your ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of where <laughs> I was gonna go to. I do work. You gotta right? put yeah. it. There's no, there's no, there's no way around. Get work. The, talk about the funding. The funding. Um, you say, yo, you tell them the script. I mean, you tell them the script, and they go and post. Like, yo, if people meet this uh, requirement. Oh, that is a good way they can do it. Um, So the one of the ways I make money, and I make a lot of money, uh, you don't got to be super skillful. You don't got to be super skillful, super knowledgeable, put in a whole bunch of work for this. So I can give you the exact requirements that I use from the banks that they want to get $100,000, right? Mm-hmm. So I started a funding company, right? So um, what I do is I, I, see, I see who meet these certain criteria. And I get them access to a hundred thousand dollars in their business. So then I charge ten percent. Mm. I make ten thousand dollars a client on the minimum side when I get people funded a hundred thousand or two hundred thousand, three hundred thousand, right? So if I teach you, not even teach you, I could just give you a screenshot of the requirements and you post it on all your social medias, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, your phone, and two people come through that mm. meet the exact requirements. And then I go get them a hundred uh, each, two hundred. We make twenty thousand. I tell you, all right, I'll give you fifty percent of that. You take keep ten, I take ten. You didn't do nothing. Mm. Let, me, let me add to that, I'll take it one step further. Cause somebody may say, Yo, I don't want to post on my social media. Or, I don't got Facebook, right? Yeah, well, I'm gonna go to a J Hill. Yo, you got a brand, bro. So listen, I'm gonna give you two grand, three grand. Matter of fact, I give you a percentage of whatever I'm gonna get. Can you post it on your page? You got a way bigger brand. Wow, Boom, man. and I'm gonna give you a percentage you know, of what wild. I get from Smitty. Yeah. That's, that's oh, crazy. Yeah. I should have gave it back. Yeah, yeah. They gotta join a challenge off that yeah, alone. They, got <laughs> they gotta join a challenge with that alone. It, like, it's, we, we, it's shout out pages yeah, and that's big brands. Chill. That's we run that. That was real. That's real good. Nah, fuck with that. Nah, Now imagine you learn, you don't even have to learn that skill set. I'll do that any day. Now we could do something like that because. The back end is the lucrativeness behind it is crazy, mm-hmm. but it's real money behind that, it. But hold on, hold on. Let me push it back. I, I'm trying to find something to push back on. So it's like the PPP shit. Bro, why am I giving you $20,000 for giving me 100 bands and I still got to pay my interest on 100? Uh-huh. So listen. Okay, well then, don't do it through me. Keep doing what you're doing. Don't get access to none of the money. <laughs> and then I'm going yeah. to talk to you later. And I'm going to keep getting access yeah. to all the money. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. okay. okay. Choose your Damn. heart. You know what I mean? Gotta pay play, you know what I'm Damn, that's crazy. That's and hard. then you know what I think about this stuff too? Uh, I, I, I break it down to people like this. They be like, man, investing is hard. Learning is hard. Starting a business is hard. I like to say, well, staying broke is hard too. Staying in the same position is running in place. You, oh you God. trying to progress and you stand in the same position. You living paycheck to paycheck. That shit is more hard than mm-hmm. learning to invest and start businesses right. and learn the credit Sheesh. game and getting access to the leverage. That That's stuff is more hard. I'm, I'm scared of going back broke. That's hard for me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So like, I need people to understand that like you need to take action on this stuff because, or you could be on the other side. Yo, bro, I'm, I'm gonna be a hundred percent, bro. Like. This is the easiest time ever to become a millionaire or make millions of dollars, bro. It's the easiest time. Why is that? So many people bro, the game. You literally could go and type in on Google, like in YouTube, and get so much game. Now you got AI. Chat, like, chat, I know you got some game on AI. Yo, chat GBT. Like, you literally got so much technology. It's just about do you want to get up and do it? Yeah. We just gave a whole play, yo. Run, go to you, boom, boom, boom. I just gave one of my six things that make me six figures. No excuse, bro. That's just truly how I feel. So wait, what about? Let me ask you this: We talk business, right? Now I'm just, I like to talk a little personal shit. Mm-hmm. That is hard. I ain't gonna lie. When I first started, like coming into this like success that I'm coming in, one of my biggest anxieties was like going back. Mm-hmm. It's one like, of mine. It's like I ain't gonna lie. To you. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna be funky with you. I'm gonna be vulnerable. Fuck it. Nice little high rise. I ain't never living no. Okay. You know, I'm living, okay. Like, okay. Good, bro. Like. 
Nigga, is this doing good for him? Yeah, yeah. And I would be like, I really would have anxiety. Like, man, I can't make one mistake to go back, bro. Because mm. I can't go back. Mm -hmm. Did y'all ever feel that at first? Like when y'all first started getting? I still feel that way. For real? That's why I'm on the grind like a skateboard. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah, not playing I, no still, games. I still stay up three, four o'clock in the morning sometimes, yeah. and I still be learning. I still be doing that stuff. Shit, that shit, fuck you. Because you, you one move like so. Like my dad, right? I think I brought him up a little earlier, but um. He owned properties, he owned businesses. I seen him come up and had bread, pull up in the Hummer, pull up in the drop top. Like, I didn't see him do it all, and then he lost it all. Mm. So that'd be like, damn, like, I didn't see it with my own eyes. I'm not going back. I didn't mm. see it. So that's really what, like, keep me going. And then it's like, I got kids you too. Got family. I'm saying, you got I'm saying, family. Though. I, exactly. I Same. got a whole family. So they life can't change. My wife life can't change. I can't go back. Like, all right, listen, you can't. We can't go to Ruth Chris on a Tuesday. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I feel you the same way. You got, you got family too? Yeah, I got a daughter. You got a daughter? I got a daughter. Yeah, she's five. Still moms? Nah, 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 nah. Yo, what about that? Though? Like, let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. like, <laughs> he, like, he had to lead it. Like, <laughs> shit is nah, shot. I got a girl. And I got a stepdaughter of five years, and I got a daughter on the way. Okay. okay. Congrats, bro. Thank yeah. you, brother. That money shit. We talking about we as men now. We talk about men. Okay. Ladies, y'all might not like this part. <laughs> that money shit definitely make a difference in my life. Oh, that's a fact. That shit is crazy. That's a fact. That <laughs> shit it makes life easier yeah, too, it bro. Does, bro. Man. Cause now you could just it's like, less, it's you could just stress. change certain things. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that's why I be saying, like, a lot of my homies and all that, they be like, like, yo, I want I want what you got. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready to have a kid. I'm ready to set, bro, get your money right. Right. Not yet, cause you only reason why you see me doing what mm, I do mm, mm. is cause I got some decent money to be able to boom, 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 take care of this. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, you, you, you hundred percent. What happens is stress brings on a lot of the problems, especially in relationships, right? Yeah. So when you get in, like, money can't make you happy, but it damn sure can change the situation around you to make I'm you happy. Right? I ain't gonna lie. You feel me? So it's like, <laughs> <Make me happy. laughs> not nah, facts, like. It just is what it is. Make me happy. What make you happy? Nah, I mean, I'm with you now, 100%. I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I'm with hey, you. Some money can solve. Yeah, <laughs> now nah, you're right. But that's what I'm saying. I feel like a lot of times we hear these stories of like, ain't about the money, ain't about the money. Like, fuck you. Like, it's about the money. I got, I got some people that say that, right? I hate, I kind of go against that real hard. If, if all this stuff ain't about the money, then why What's does up? everything you do in your life Cause. go to, you leave your family, you leave your husband, your kids for hours of the day, hours of the time. You work, work hard to make what? To go Money. to get what? To set up what? Why do you get up at 6 o'clock in the morning, hit your alarm clock to get up to go to work or you just start this? Why do you do that? Nigga, Drake said it the best. He said, niggas with no money act like money isn't everything. <laughs> Word. Hey, I'm just saying, like, when yeah. I, at first I understand it. Yeah. I got a couple hours, I'm like, mm -hmm. okay. Because I used to say, like, no, nah, it ain't about the money. I love this shit. Nah. So let me say this, bro, because, like, I love what you said. Like, once you got money, you start to realize it. And this is why we teach financial literacy, bro, because... It's a domino effect. It's bigger than what we're doing right now because once you start making money, you're not trying to be in the streets killing nobody. Nice. You're not trying to be out here, you know, really snaking nice. in this skin. Like I'm, I'm up now. I don't have the you same got too type much of to lose. Exactly. So if we teach our community financial literacy oh, yeah, and you start boy. building be businesses, we gonna lower the crime rate. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, facts. We no. gonna have, like we gonna have a better community. That's crazy. We gonna live better. So I was just talking about that because like. When you in a space, like even like, I'm gonna keep it honey. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna just say this about me because I don't want So I was talking to my girl today. It was, I don't even know why I was talking to my girl about this shit. <laughs> we talking about cheating and shit, right? Yeah. And I was like, man, I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, it's just too much in cheating. Like, you gotta deal with the emotions of your woman, mm -hmm. right? And you gotta deal with what comes with that. Then you also, it's just like, and then I'm popular. So like even if I do try to get like a little side joint that 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 ain't gonna say nothing, I gotta worry about her trying to put me out there to win. Say with money, like when you get money, it's like bro. I don't need nothing that's gonna fuck up my money. So <laughs> if I do a bad, I can't I can't afford to do no bad deals. <laughs> I can't afford to fuck nobody over. I can't afford nothing like that. Like bro, look, I just wanna be a good person and be out of the way <laughs> because if I'm a good person, you are gonna see I'm a good person. You gonna make yeah, you gonna make me more money. Exactly. Yeah. You feel me? Like I ain't trying to do none of that shit because if I get, I look, listen, yes, you're right. It's a problem. My bad. I apologize. Mm -hmm. Yo, how can I? Let's rectify that. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. now you're right. That's so when you said that, I'm like, damn, that dude. Get you some money. That's yeah. Get you some money. Let's get the community some money and shit gonna change. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, nah, facts. But what about the others? It's some, it's some, it's a flip side of it though. Yeah. Like, yeah. 
What, what getting it? money? Yeah, it's like it's something. Oh yeah, uh, some people hard times, isn't it? You know what I what I came to the conclusion now? When people, yeah. all the celebrities and stuff, people that got money, like uh, it don't be us that's changed. The people that's around us that change. I finally understand. Yeah. Oh my god, bro! I understand <laughs> it to relax. the T, bro. Relax. You gotta relax. I understand it because now it's like, oh my you god. expect me to do X, Y, and Z, but you oh. never would have expected me to mm-hmm. do bro, you this. Gotta chill. You gotta chill. You wilding right now. I'm yeah. trying to see the finest message. Somebody literally just messaged me on some shit like, "You changed. You acted funny now." Mm-hmm. Like, it was my family, bro. Yeah. yeah. That hurt. I ain't gonna lie. That it do. Hurt. Some of it. Some of it do hurt. Some of it do hurt. Uh, yeah, bro. Like, I understand like, it though. So, and I want to get you, I want to get some advice from y'all to be real. You know what I'm saying? So, one of the things I'm dealing with, like some like some of my homies in the street. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I'm a different person now. You know what I'm saying? They can't accept the fact that I'm a different person. So what happened was once I went like corporate and really like building my business and doing a different thing, they thought it was gonna be on some like. Tommy and Ghost, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, all right, Ghost go corporate, but come back and feed the block <laughs> with what you're doing. Da da da. I got a credit repair business. They like, all right, boom, boom, let's go do this. I'm like, nah, like I gotta protect what I'm. It's a real business. I'm making real money, and now they mad. I can't afford nothing, nothing to happen. So like, I'm going through that process of like, how could I even like articulate for you to understand that, bro? I'm on a different level. You know, I got too much to lose. Like, we actually could win over here better. I don't know. Have you been? Have you have you been through that? Have you been through that? Or it's like, it's y'all interview, so I'll ask somebody. <laughs> yeah, nah, uh, yeah, bro. Um, I don't really be knowing how to deal with it, but I do have conversations with them. And the people that don't understand, I can't stick to like, I can't stick on it. I yeah. gotta kind of keep moving, keep pushing, and it gotta be like a head nod, be like, all right, you know what I mean? I tried <laughs> type of thing. More so than being stuck on it and being like, well, how could I? How could I? How could I? It's like, bro, you gotta, you gotta, we grown, man. Mm. You gotta, you gotta mm. understand, bro. I'll, I'll be honest. So, like, for me, it ain't, what I will say is, let me talk in the camera. I'm not getting no fucking money, bro. <laughs> I'm just being real. Like, I'm doing okay, but I'm struggling. Like, bro, I, my apartment, my crib, like, all that shit equates to the chain in the watch. I ain't get the chain in the watch. I got other shit. So, I'm being real. I'm being, I'm being 100% real right now. But what happened is, yeah. Niggas see the views mm-hmm. and they equate the views with money. And I'm like, are you, you fucking idiot? Like, <laughs> you got the game fucked yeah, up. Like, yeah. bro, this ain't that. Like, this, I'm like, my, 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 my views is lit, but it ain't that. I'm just being strong. And that's why people are like, bro, you be too humble. Like, you playing downplaying yourself. And I'm just the realist. Because mm, right, sure. I could talk about another nigga shit because mm. I'm, I'm going to get it. Mm. Even like, I get, like, I don't, I don't be no hate no, like, I don't give a fuck. Like, bro, yeah. niggas get it. All right, bro, you, I get it. I'm, it's yeah, going to be there. Yeah. even me like, yeah. but people misjudge that. But anyway, I said that say, people look at it and they assume that I'm wilding, like I'm mm. going crazy. <laughs> I had my brother, my brother, bro. I just talked about this. He hit me like, you ain't really been my brother since. I don't want to say, I don't want to get too personal. And I'm like, bro, are you fucking serious? Mm. I told him, I'm like, bro, don't let your emotions get in the way it was real. Because mm. you might not see, but nigga, I talk about you more than I talk about my own fucking family. Don't get it fucked up. Mm. So to answer your question, it ain't really, you can, it ain't much you can do, but that shit do hurt. Like, that's my, like, that's my, bro- like, I got into real live fight, like, this is my dog. So it's like, to hear him say that, it hurt because it's like, bro, you think you're struggling, but you don't even see the struggle I'm going through. Mm. Like, you don't even see, like, me and my girl was fucking arguing every other fucking day. You don't even get it. Mm. Like, you don't even get, like, and then what happened is, like, bro, and I can talk about this, because I've never been, I just said this on camera, i never been a street nigga. I just fought a lot. Like, mm. I just wasn't, no like, I was just a wild nigga. Mm. What happened is, like, niggas think, like, bro, I'm not, you still into the same shit mm. that we was into when I, I'm, I've been off that. Mm. Of course we ain't hanging out, bro. I'm not coming down to the hood to hang out with you, bro. I love you. You can fuck with me. And if you ain't fucking with me, then I ain't about to be on the corner. Like, it's just, bro, I'm not on that. Yeah. We got too much to lose. Yeah. I don't got to have a million dollars to say that. It just is what <laughs> I, 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 I don't have to have seven figures to say that. It's just, bro, I got a lot of shit I'm working towards. Yeah. And if I fuck up what I got going on, ain't nobody going to come save me. Right. So it's just like, it hurt, bro. But it's something that we just got to chalk up like, man, look. That shit hurt. Nah, that's real shit. That bro. shit hurt. That, that, bro. That I, shit, that that shit. Shit. I feel the same way. Like I'm, I'm, I'm. 
Everything you said, bro, I, like, I literally <laughs> feel hurt because I'm like, yeah, that shit hurt. all I wanted is everybody to win. I'm king of the game. I'm trying to be the representation to show oh, y'all, bro. Yeah. All I want, that's all I want everybody to win. That's... And y'all, you, you looking at it this way, because, but then I had to understand and step back. You can't look at something from my lens. When, like, I'm, mm. I'm, at the, I'm at the penthouse, look overlooking. I got a different view. You on street level. Thanks. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, like when niggas trying to like, because now I hate. I ain't gonna say I hate it. This social media shit be blowing me, bro. Cause sometimes like they really equate everything that you with with other things. Like so far as them niggas see me with like David Shans and Neo, they like yo nigga Jay go crazy, bitch. <laughs> I'm still a little nigga in this room, nigga. I'm trying to like we're, I'm we're. here for sure, but it ain't really. It's like I don't want cause I don't ever want saying I'm unappreciative, but it's like I'm here, but I'm here. Like yeah, it ain't yeah, like yeah. I ain't getting like. This is his shit. Yeah, like the fuck? Yeah, like, this is yeah. his crib. This is his hair, baby. Mm -hmm. This is his car. Like, I'm not getting shit from this shit. Yeah. But you liking my post saying, yo, no, nah, you wild, bro. You came a long way. <laughs> but I'm still you paying have, my own You have bills. come a long way. You have come a nah, long facts, way. Yeah. Shit, but, facts. you know, I don't know. I don't know the solution. I, feel, I just feel, brought it up. No, that's a real shit. That's a real shit. I feel what you're saying, though. People yeah. don't understand. People just see from the outside looking in. They don't know the inside. But this is what I said, at least for us, right? Like, you know, we do these seminars, two ninety seven, or you could pay ninety seven dollars. Mm. I tell all my homies, bro, you want to win, jump in the challenge, bro. I, we gonna give you the game, but now it's like, nah, bro, like just pull up on the block and tell me what you like. But jump in the challenge, take advantage of what we putting together. We do free classes every week. Mm. Every week we do free classes. We go on the, on the streets, free events and everything, but nobody want to pull up. So I just want to let everybody so, know here. Like when we do something free, when we do something low ticket, everybody should be in the room. Y'all said it, nah, no, fuck that. I'm telling y'all niggas before y'all hit. Nah, heard, nah. Heard. You Come said y'all give away free game all the time, right? Yeah. Y'all gave a lot of game on this podcast, yeah. but I'm I'm I ain't satisfied. I'm that, <laughs> I'm that nigga that's just going to ask for too much. Y'all said it multiple times. You can give a nigga game all they want, but it ain't going. They ain't going. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Two ninety seven, y'all master class. Yep. What I'm getting. So first, I gotta teach them how to get the bag. So, oh, so, so, uh, so, so, give it to me. We, I got they, you, I got they might not even watch this. We like <laughs> almost two hours in fucking. Nah. They, they ain't gonna get this far. No, nah, they gotta understand how to get the money to invest into what he trying to teach y'all. So, I want to teach y'all the metrics of our right, how to leverage our personal credit with the LLC. Combine both of those to get access to the bank's money. How I do that? So we do we do what we call business credit card stacking and lines of credit stacking. How I do that? So we stack you, you first okay, <laughs> this is this, this you gotta do. <laughs> you you gotta meet you gotta meet the requirements that the bank wants you to meet. So that's six hundred eighty credit score, no negatives, mm. low increase, less than ten percent utilization. Six eighty credit score, you meet those criteria. It ain't it's like five criteria. You ain't gotta meet a lot. It ain't rocket science. It ain't mm -hmm. the hardest thing in the world. You no negatives. Get that. What that mean? That mean no collections, no derogatory marks, no late payments. That mean nothing bad. Nothing they they can say this is a negative remark. <laughs> we don't want none of that because then they're not gonna give you the money, mm -hmm. or they're not gonna especially they gonna give you a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So once you clean it up and you do a clean slate, then you gotta build it. So that means we gotta have ten accounts and different type of accounts, credit card, mm -hmm. an installment loan, maybe an auto loan, if you could, a mortgage, like just a different, mm -hmm. a different mm -hmm. mixture, a different mixture of stuff on your credit report to make it strong. Cause- oh, You give me five, no, I need the 10. Huh? No, I need uh, the 10. Self Credit strong, <laughs> kick off, whatever, whatever else you want. <laughs> you, want rent, you can rent your rent recorded to your credit. Yeah, you, are, you know, whatever you want to do. But uh, the banks, so th think about this. If I go in the bank and you go in the bank and the bank got $100,000 sitting on the table, you go in there, you only paying one company on time per month, just to say you got a car. Mm. I go in there, I'm paying 15 different companies on time every month. I'm about to say, if we go in the bank, who they going to most likely get $100,000 to? You. you knew that before I even told you. I just mm -hmm. said it out loud. You knew that because you used the same concept with the banks, right? And then it's like, who else going to give you 100000 or 200000 and sit it in your lap? Mm -hmm. Not my homie because mm -hmm. they don't even got Not it. your mom, not your girlfriend if she ain't rich, not your homie, not nobody. But the banks will. So use that same mentality. If I had $100,000 sitting on this table right now and I said, mm -hmm. you can borrow it, just give me $1,000 a month. Mm -hmm. I bet you, you all, all the money in my pocket that you would say yes. I let me take this hundred k. Let me see what I can do with it. To try to make it two hundred, three hundred. Everybody pretty much would take that same concept and utilize it with the banks. That's how I. That's how I look at the banks. Y'all got the money. Y'all gonna let me borrow it? I only gotta pay y'all back a small, small portion a month on this money. Let me go flip it, pay y'all back, pocket the rest. That's what I want to teach y'all. That's what we're gonna teach y'all. So I gotta teach y'all to get that money. Mm. So we teach y'all leverage the personal credit. How I just told you to build right. it and have it. Get the LLC. You got to properly structure LLC too. How I properly structure it? 
business phone number, business email, business address. Mm. Not a, He's not a, giving, us the game. Game. Give not, giving game. you the game, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? You gotta have this stuff. So that means not your business name at gmail.com, but at your business name.com. Right, like is, Mr. J Hill at business, I mean, business at Mr. J Hill.com. Yes, right that's a home. business email you pay for. A business phone number is not your second cell phone number, and you pulling your two phones out. Like, I, this is my business phone, but you got a cell phone number. The, mm. We put the, when we trying to get this bag on these applications, you got to put a business phone number, man, a one eight hundred number. So to get the, the to get the business number, I gotta have that Dunn's number. Uh, so not to get the business number, but you want the Dunn's number too. So I gotta go to you gave me this already. Uh, call I'm reminding you. Niggas. I go to a site called Call Eight dot com to get my business phone number. Call Eight dot com. Yeah. And if you want to get your Dunn's number, you want to go to DMB dot com. Yes, sir. And then so um business <laughs> phone number, business email, business address, <laughs> and then it's your LLC, your EIN number, and all that stuff. And then now we in we in a game. Win a game to get the bag. Okay, mm. that's that's the two components you need to wrap up real hard, tight, and real good. Now you ready to get the bag. So now we do what's called lines of credit stacking, business credit card stacking. That means we go get multiple credit cards with limits on them. Give and try some to, banks, bro. Don't hold give back. Give some banks. Give okay. a few banks, bro. You we got, here, like, <laughs> we want to Jay Harris show. Let's uh, give it to uh, him, one, man. Of, one of my one of my cool banks. I ain't really been giving out, but I'm gonna just give it on the game. It's PSECU. Mm. PSECU will allow you to get probably forty, fifty thousand with one hard pull, mm. so we can get a credit card, a line of credit. So then they might. That's what all the criteria first. All the criteria first. I would recommend it. And then so they might give you a credit card for twenty thousand. Mm. Then you can come back and ask, well, I, y'all since y'all just pulled my credit, let me get a line of credit too. They might give you thirty. What is that? A line, line of credit, credit is this: if I get approved for twenty thousand dollars, I can go in the bank now and pull out quite cash. I don't have to worry about trying to take my credit card and liquidate it. Mm -hmm. I literally can go in the bank and the bank knows I have an open line of. Ten thousand, twenty thousand dollars available to me. If I need five to ten thousand dollars, give it to me in cash. Mm -hmm. I, I'm going to the bank and ask for cash. But Damn. this will happen. I gotta pay interest on that money. Though. You okay. know what I mean? So we gotta be smart. We have to leverage it, put it into real estate, storage facilities, and and be able to make this stuff make sense for me to make okay. my money double and triple. Mm -hmm. But I want to teach y'all how to get the bag. We're we gonna teach y'all how to get the bag. And my challenge, I want to teach y'all everything you need to do. I'm gonna give y'all the websites. I'm gonna give y'all the game, the banks to go to, everything. Give me another bank. You gave uh, me two already. Can you uh, give me my the, other one. Yeah. You so, gave me the black one. Yeah. You gave me that one. Give me one more. Yeah, we could do. I like Truist, Key Bank, NASA, Federal Credit Union. You said one uh, more. You gotta get. You uh, said one more. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. And I could get. Yeah. I could get multiple yeah. amounts of money from all these different banks. Yeah. What I. What I forget. Something. What else you do? Come I, on. I'm being greedy. I'm yeah, he even gave it. He even gave want? it out. You, you gave me. All right, so now let's. So for the for the slow ones, let's rewind. Let's see what we gave him then. Okay. We told him how to get the credit up. Yeah. How we, to, we told no. We told him the requirements. Requirements. We told him we gave him what maybe like five banks. Five yeah. banks. What what they need for their business to be set up the right we way. We gave him the business. Yeah. What we need for the business to be set up the, the right website way. to go and get the business phone number. Yeah. The website to get the phone number and the Duns number. And the Duns number. Yeah. I think that's how to number. build your credit. You know what I mean. It, yeah, it's all right, man. And you the smart one. Nah, nah, nah. And I need you. <laughs> nah, nah, don't play. Don't play. <laughs> don't give me the podcast shit. I heard you. Heard. This is look. Yeah. I'm be real with you. Yeah. This ain't going. This probably. You know what I'm saying? Like Shans and they. That's y'all. So look, you give it. You don't gotta worry about nothing. I'm being real. <laughs> like, I'm a real I ain't nigga. Got no problem I, who won't go give you? Give it to you real like that. Yeah, being real, yeah, you feel yeah. me? They probably ain't, they. They ain't even gonna get it. They ain't even gonna. Mm -hmm. They gonna click off forty minutes in. That's their stuff. So give it to me. <laughs> I get it. Say that's their fault. That. Yeah, I ain't worried so about that. So we got that. we got the credit part. Yeah. So you got the credit part. You got the money. Let's say how much money you got them just so far. I got them seventy five thousand. All right, he got them seventy five thousand. Right. So now we want to start looking for some storage facilities. Right. Well, matter of fact, a, a boom not here because the like, it's me. Smitty and Boom, right? Mm -hmm. And we literally take them on a play by play, right? Mm -hmm. So I gotta do Boom play and then get to my call. Because he, he's easy, big right? dog. Call, he he big on the flight right now. I'm about to say, call uh, him. Yeah, go crazy. Crazy. What time is it right now? <laughs> go crazy. 9 15, I'll call him. Go I'll see. crazy. I'll see if he pick up. Yeah. Nah, niggas is. <laughs> <laughs> because see it's, it's, big, it's big dog <laughs> plays after, yeah. you know, entry level to get into the plays, but then it's yeah. bigger dog plays. That's the funnel. That's the. That's the that's, yeah, yeah. So we only picked up. Yeah, we on a podcast, Boom, and uh, we basically trying to elaborate on. All right, I'm trying to give him the bag, right? You ready? So, 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 so tell him to give him the land. So he, you got them the bag, seventy five thousand. So I got him the bag. We got now they about to get with you. Run now the we got to give a boom. So now they gonna run the, run the what play? The land play to go get the single family. And they gonna sing, swing back with me. But tell him to give him his play. Give, so give, give us him. the land play. Oh, so the land play work is right. You can go ahead and find some vacant land. You can go to Prop Stream and go ahead and do that. Just type in vacant land in the zip code in the search. But the main thing you want to do is you want to look at the zoning. So you want to make sure that it's a multi-family zoning because a lot of these sellers be selling this land thing is just some BS. 
and it's just a piece of grass. Whole time you could build a ten unit apartment on it. So they might give it to you for like five grand. The whole time is really worth a hundred thousand. But you just bought the land off the credit card for five grand. I personally did that a couple times. Dude. All right, what you, now what you do with the land? Yeah, yeah, flip keep it. coming, keep coming, <laughs> keep, keep going. going. Oh, so then you, oh, keep going. So then you go ahead and sell it to a developer or somebody like me for 100 or 90 or 80, give them a little discount. And then that you just made 75000 just off the land. Or you want to go ahead and call a lender and they'll go ahead and refinance the land for you. You can just pull out 60000 70000 how do I find a lender? You still own the land. How do you find a lender? So, how do you find a lender? So you want to get into Facebook groups with other people that's, that's already investors, or you can just go to Google and type in hard money lenders. I don't really 100% recommend that. You want to vet them, but I'll go in Facebook groups that you already know other investors in. Just say, yo, bro, who you using for your last deal? And just spread it around just like that. I'm missing something. What I'm missing? Nothing. You hit that shit again. He just gave it to you. Yo, he said so. So, so we get that. We get on the pod right now. Yeah, we on the podcast right now. You on my phone in the oh, microphone hey. on the pod. <laughs> So we, so, we, run them plays, so 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 we get that right. We got the, we got the land. Yep, and mm. that's when we come to you. Facts. So let's just make sure we break it down. We yeah, want yeah, everybody yeah. to get it yeah, right. Yeah, break it so you gonna go with Smitty. Make sure your credit is right. Make sure your business is set up the right way. You are gonna go do the credit card stack and go to Motu Banks. You got seventy five thousand. Now you are gonna get with Boom, and then Boom gonna show you how to find vacant land. Literally five grand, ten grand. But you could swipe that off a credit card, zero percent interest, mm -hmm. and flip the land, make fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollars. So you're already up now, right? Mm -hmm. So then you're gonna get with me and say, all right, I got really, I probably got a hundred and fifty. You, you got more than that because you got the money that you flip, plus you still got the available credit. Right. So you really got over a hundred thousand. Let's just say over a hundred thousand, right? So I'm gonna give you a few websites. One, you're gonna go to bizbuysell.com. Bizbuysell.com is a business brokerage website where it's not even just self storage. It's anybody that have a business that's tired of it. So this this whole company that you got right wow. here, you may say, yo, I'm, I'm tired. You're going to get with a business broker. They're going to list it on Biz Buy Sell, and they're going to try to sell your business. So I'm going to go on Biz Buy, Biz Buy Sell and start seeing what facilities are available for sale. And now I can negotiate with that broker. Cool. Take it to the SBA, right? I'm going to give you out a bank. Yeah, I should have it in the go, bank. Go, go. All right, listen. <laughs> I'm going to give you out a bank right here. It's Live Oak Bank. That's the number one bank that lends out for self-storage facilities, right? You can go to Live Oak Bank and let them know, look, I got this self-storage facility off of Biz Buy Sell. Here go the numbers, and now they're going to pre-approve you for the SBA loan, right? But look, we're going to take it a step further. With SBA, you no, need the... Like, you give him some pay. <laughs> yeah. Pay Yo, <laughs> with SBA, you need a 650 credit score minimum, right? So if you don't got it, get somebody else, or you pretty much got it Oh, already. wait, 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 wait. Wait, what? If you don't got it, you're going crazy. <laughs> yeah. If you don't got it, get somebody else. So I teach people, like, your creativeness, right? So if you don't got it, yo, J. Hill, you got one? Or the wifey you got your, one? Ingenuity, yeah. Do my bro, like, somebody got a got it, and then we going to put them on, and they going to be our credit partner. Or you find somebody else that got cash. What's a good percentage to get them? They putting them credit. That's a lot for some people. It, they, it, a lot of people not trying to do that. So I just say what I do. You know what I'm saying? Everybody can be creative, right? But I get them 10% return on their money, and I give them 5% equity in, like, on the back end. So you get with 10% of whatever you put up, and then I'm going to give you 5% on the back end if we flip it, refi, whatever the case may be. You put in your credit Do you, Is that 5%? Because I, I hear you say if we if we flip it or refi, but is that off the uh, the units too or no? That's off a of profit, right? So so I'm going to give you 10% return off of, off of whatever you invest, but that's from the cash flow from the units. Right. But let's say a couple of years from now, I refinance out. I get a check for 300 I'm gonna give you five percent of that three hundred. What if you getting just uh? What if your shit maxed out and everybody renting and they, and you making profit? Well, then you just get ten percent on your money just consistently. You just get ten percent on your money. Damn. Okay. So okay. boom, like you know, you figure that whole play out, right? Now, you gotta get a business plan. Now this is some crazy stuff. Like we talked about it earlier. Yeah. Like, so a lot of people get hung up on a business plan. You mm -hmm. feel me? You can use AI. To go Chat, and create, yeah, you, yeah. Just, you create your whole business plan. Just put, yo, I want to do X, Y, Z. And on a challenge, we tell you. No, but you're not. Tell, tell me. We tell you. Tell me. Tell me. All right. You so got to up him. He went crazy. So, all right, so, crazy. Look, so on the business plan, you got to understand what's your target market, right? So okay. literally, ask, what is my target market in this area? You also got to ask, yo, how much am I going to increase the rents over the next five years? So what is going to be the inflation amount? I need to go 2 to 3% above inflation. Put all this stuff in there. You know what I'm saying? Boom. You build out your business plan. You go to the Live Oak Bank and you go get approved for the SBA 7A loan 10% down Smitty then got you the bag already now I just got my facility cool so now I take that facility and we talked about it a little earlier but now I'm gonna go partner with different people I'm gonna I'm give you a more game 
that I didn't talk about earlier. So I, early I said the content studio, I said the vending machines, I said the moving company, I said you hold for the transportation. All right, well guess what? You could actually become an Amazon drop off location. So now you partner with Amazon to bring more foot traffic to your business. And we partner with the insurance company because we make it mandatory for you to have insurance. Mm -hmm. And now we're getting bread off the insurance or the back end, right? But you got multiple streams, right? So with, with, with commercial real estate, the reason why I love it versus residential, even though residential, I still did it. Boom, my man. Shout out to Boom. But um, with the commercial, the more income I bring on my facility, the higher the value is, right? So if I generate an additional fifty dollars to $100,000 by putting these other streams in, I could bring the value up another million or two on my facility, pull that bread right back out and go buy another one. Mm, that's crazy. You going so crazy. We just showed you how to get the money, then make your first Y'all flip, and then go big dog status. And like it's it, this. So all right, let me say this, and then we, I know you nah, keep going. Back, you right? going <laughs> because a lot of people probably hearing like, "Yo, name he's that shit sound cool," but nah, like you know what I'm saying. But I want to give you exact play, play that I ran, exact play, right? So. In 2000, what was this, 2019, I believe, 2000, I did my first family legacy meeting, right? You know about the family legacy meeting. I bring my cousins, my aunts, my brothers, my sister, everybody in the family, I bring them in one room, right? And we make sure we talk about financial literacy because when you up, you the family bank. Everybody trying to pull from you. I'm like, nah, we're going to get this money together. So my cousin, he we pulled his credit. He had an 800 credit score, didn't even know it. He just paid his bills on time. Got him forty five thousand dollars in twenty four hours, bro. Mm. Chase credit card, right? With that Chase credit card, we liquidated it, right? Which means pull the money off the credit card, and now I went and bought a single family property, which is what Boone teach, right? That single family property, we leverage hard money, where they give us seventy percent of the value of that um, of that property, and all we gotta do is come to the table with the difference. So in this case, it was eight grand, right? So I got forty five thousand that I got oh, from my cousin, yeah. not even my money, right? It was off of his good credit. Liquidate it, but when we liquidate the credit card, guess what? We get cash back reward points. It was seven hundred and fifty dollars that we got back, and I used that to cover the minimum payment for a couple months. So he still got no money out of his pocket. That property, we fixed it up, sold it, made a hundred and twenty thousand dollars profit. Paid him back the forty whatever to pay off his cards, plus twenty percent return. Damn. I had about a little over eighty thousand. Took the eighty thousand, put it into a life insurance policy. Look. This is real game, right? <laughs> Threw it in a life insurance policy and let it sit. It grew compound interest because life insurance yeah, cash value. Instead of in the bank, you put it in a Exactly. That 80 plus thousand grew to $116,000. Now long, I borrowed, long, long? Uh, that was what, 2019, 2023, so whatever that, four years, whatever. Damn. Just letting it sit while well, I'm still moving. You feel what I'm saying? That's just money I'm going to get to when I get to it. But now the three facilities that I got on the contract that I just talked to you about, I could borrow against my policy that 116,000 that's my down payment on these three facilities plus the money is still making money on that that's a real like this is real life right, I'm a nigga, I still don't I still don't give a fuck I'm a nigga right you yeah. say you won't talk to me off of it. No, fuck, <laughs> no talk to me all on right say less I got I don't know let's say I saved up 20 mm -hmm. ah fuck it I saved up 10 I don't know if that's do you have a a, a, a number that they, it gotta be when it comes to investing in, in your 15 business? 15 is the minimum all right I saved up 15 it even might be my my all but I know you know what I'm saying you going you 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 legit with this shit. Yeah. How how, how much do someone see off of 15? 10%. So what's that? 1500. So you'll get 1500 per year. Okay, so yeah. it's 10% a year. A year. Okay. Which is more than what you get the bank. You put it in the bank is like point zero zero like so you, put it in the, you put it in the stock market, you lose money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you get that plus the 5% that I talked about if I refi or sell within Two, three years, whatever. So if you sell it for 100K, you still get another 5,000 on top of that. Correct. Mm. Mm -hmm. How often do you sell? I don't sell. I refi, really. How often do you do that? Every two years. So if you do that, it's a possibility I can make my money back in two years. Possibility, because yeah. it's an investment. Facts. Damn. But also beyond that, I know I'm giving out too much. It's crazy, but this might be a high level game. But the people that I build with is like they invest the money because of tax savings. So somebody like you, you making bread. So you invest the 15, yeah, you're making a fifteen hundred dollars on top of it per year until we do the cash out. But now you're getting the tax advantages, mm -hmm. you know, you a part owner in real estate. So it's actually so helping write you, that you can write that investment off. So now you lower your tax the 15, liability. 000, I could write the whole the prop the, the the whole thing of the property, right? Not the whole you your prorated like ownership of it. Okay. So the fifteen that you put up, 
and some ownership in the property, you get the write-off. So you get in like crazy value. And that's more money that I don't have to kick out to the IRS. Yeah. So you really making more money. I, th- I mean, I think we cover it. Did we miss anything? I don't think oh, we, we gave the game. I don't That's think we it. had no miss opportunity. If they don't crazy. get in the five day challenge off that, yeah. I don't know. They want to stay in the same position, basically. Yeah, yeah that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> that's what they want to do. I don't even need the five day challenge off that. I'm just be like, I just want to pay this. The <laughs> like, All right, so look, this I did this, bro. I just want to get on the phone. Like, <laughs> just because I, I did what you did, bro. Just tell me. I just need some extra, like, because, yeah. damn, that's not yeah. bad. That's, I mean, I don't even know. I mean, I think we done. I mean, that was crazy. Yeah, man. You didn't even want to do that because this is smart one. I told you, he's smart. He's like, man. Now nah, I want to get him the game, bro, because I really, I really like bro, this shit. First really changed our life, bro. bro. I hit my mouth. I can't make this up. I'm like, yo, this <laughs> nigga, bro. Yeah. Fuck that real estate shit, bro. Like, <laughs> fuck with this nigga, bro. Did us. I'm yeah. like, that. yo, what about? I'm curious. I don't know if y'all know this, because I heard somebody say, um, life insurance is is you make more money doing life insurance than uh, real estate nowadays. Or do you? Um, um, I don't. I don't mean? sell life insurance. I'm not in that. I just use life insurance as like a savings. Right. But I mean, shit. If you, everybody probably doing that play. So that might be. Yeah. So the, yeah, they started getting educated on it now. You got like it's just crazy. I'm in a mastermind. I pay fifty thousand for. It. I'm the only black person in the room. Which I one is this? This is a different mastermind. It's what is called, it? It's called. Um, it's a self storage mastermind. But it got. If you pay fifty, it gotta be worth. It's it. crazy high level, but. Um, one of the one of the classes that we had, the guy that was teaching, he said, "Yo, I make ten thousand dollars a day in interest on my money." Like, That's from insurance, I'm assuming. No. Yeah, because so what he do was, they make money, whatever, mm-hmm. right? And then they go buy a bunch of insurance policies. So like me, you say all three or four of us right here, we all go buy insurance policies, and now our money is locked in the insurance policy and it's growing interest, compound interest, right over time. But I could actually borrow against it and lend out. And with the insurance, the one of the one of the actual loopholes is you can actually lend out for real estate purposes. So Smitty might come to me or somebody come to us and be like, yo, I want to go buy this self-storage facility. Instead of me going to buy it myself, I'm going to lend it to you and just charge you interest. So mm-hmm. now I don't got to manage the property. I don't got to deal with the business. You do all that. And I'm making money twice because the, the insurance is growing. Plus, I bought, I lended it out, and I'm charging you interest. When you when you borrow against the insurance policy, is it like a you still gotta pay that back and the interest too, or no? So that's a good question. Right now, insurance is this is why it's so cool. Technically, you don't have to pay it back. You want to to continuously build a relationship, but if I got a million dollar policy and I got a hundred thousand dollars in cash value, when I borrow against it, if I don't pay it back, they just take it off my death benefit. So God forbid when I die, instead of me having a million dollars to go to my family, no, they just got nine hundred. You know what I'm saying? And the crazy part is about that too. If, if I'm that's not mistaken, that's not really a big difference when you talk from a million to nine hundred. But uh, even when you borrow against it, do you got the one set up that the money don't actually get taken out? How much money you make off your money when it's sitting Which in one there? Which is that? So like, is it's that the, the IUL? Yeah. So that's that's the one I'm talking. So. When you borrow against, it's not, so so really, you're never taking the money out. That's why I'm saying it's still making money while it's in there. So really, it's just collateral. So I got 100K yeah. in here. I leverage that and go put 100K here, but the 100K technically is still here making interest while you it's over here. Off the still making still interest. Sitting, even though so you I'm borrowed making money 100K. multiple ways. And if I don't pay back that 100, they just go take it off my death benefit. But I want to pay back the 100 because by the time I pay it back, it then grew to like 150, and I can go take out 150 next time and, and do it again. Is, this is the play I'm assuming that a people, a lot of people in your position, y'all know that. Like it just, right? You like, say what? A, a lot of people in y'all position already know that play. I'm learning. I'm still learning, bro. I, I ain't even made all the plays behind. I'm still structuring mine properly and setting it up. So I, he already executed. That's something that I'm going into executing now. So you just start learning, and because these are the type of things you gotta start learning when you start making money. Like you gotta start learning about taxes, bro. You all you gonna learn about it. You don't want to learn about it. You gonna learn about it. Uh, you are gonna lose a lot of money if you don't. Uh, you gotta start learning in different places to keep your money because it's stupid to keep all of our. If it's, it's we used to have the mindset of I want to see two hundred thousand in my bank account. Right. Yeah. When you start making that money, you you understand investing so well that you don't. I don't care to see two hundred thousand on my bank account. I want to be investment strong and passive income strong more You're so than to me now. Because that was one of to, my goals. So you see, I, I want to. I want to see. You see, I showed you the, the bank accounts, right? Like, it's a reason why I got it in multiple bank accounts because you only insure up to two hundred fifty k. So if I got a million in the bank, 
if it collapse, I'm done. All I'm getting is 250. My 750 gone. Yeah, no. So you don't want to have more than 250 in each bank. You really want to have in assets and real estate or yeah. whatever. Like it needs to be out moving because something stuck, happened. I was stuck on that for so long. I was, I was so happy to see 250k in my available balance. But then I, it was eight months ago, but I still got 250. And it's like, bro, I could have took that 250, put mm -hmm. it somewhere. I would have had 350. Yeah. That would have made me feel better than if I just kept my 250. And I'm just looking at the available balance. It's like, I got to get out of that mindset. It's a like, you, know, you got to be at a certain level. You like, do. Before you do. that, you won't really understand it. Cause you want to see it, right? You like, yeah, I'm, like I'm good. I'm, 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 I'm safe. Like, I'm real? trying to be like you. I don't want. I don't want to have to touch the stove. I don't want to look at it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah. but that's that's real. Like, nah, yeah, I don't. I mean, sheesh. it's crazy because I, I literally, I was literally just having a conversation. Like, man, I want to, I want to save a hundred. I need a hundred. I need a hundred. Mm. I need a hundred. Now I'm like, damn, maybe not. It just, no, so it you can still get get a hundred, <laughs> but once you like save and see it at one point, do what we talking about. Invest. invest. Like, get with me. Let's. Yeah. Let's do okay. something. Let's invest here. Because you, while you go got by, your lane. You still looking at that same balance and it looked cool, yeah. but it could have been gone by that time. And we ain't looking at we looking at twenty thousand, but that hundred thousand is flipping. And then now it come back and I your shit one seventy five. And then that look better. That feel better. You know what I'm saying? Go back out and I was two twenty five. Tell them bro, just tell them how to follow y'all. Like, yeah, so you can follow me on crazy. everything at Smitty the Goat. So on Instagram is underscore Smitty the Goat underscore. Y'all can tap in and we like that. Yeah, you go tapping with me, Mogul Lifestyle underscore. You see it on the shirt. Um, M O G U L Lifestyle underscore on Instagram, Facebook, um, YouTube, all of the above. This shit was crazy, bro. Yeah, bro. Appreciate you. Man, I appreciate that. That was a good episode. Yeah, this was a fun episode. Relaxing, just giving like, it I like this whole yeah. vibe. I ain't even going to hold you. <laughs> that was crazy. I, I'm just, I'm like, still like, I just like we gave out the game, but in our way. Nah, first, yeah. Typically, we give out the game and like we got to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, ain't gonna, I feel more like, comfortable doing it like bro, this. Bro, kind of this it. is very simple. It's not oh, easy, but it's simple. But I think I think a lot of times when y'all have conversations like with people, people like high level niggas, like yeah. even like Ash Cash, like that nigga. Get, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah, you feel yeah. me? Like he, yeah, he already level. know that shit. So he like, bro, you feel me? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. shit crazy. Me, I literally don't know. So yeah. it's like. It's good. It's feel. It's good to explain it though and yeah. break it down so you can you can start seeing it better nah, than like, right. just start having different angles on thinking about it. So it'd be dope. Y'all niggas be talking about these letters and fucking acronyms <laughs> and shit. I'm like, what the fuck yeah. are you talking about? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when we break it down though, you start you start understanding. Like, hmm, nah, that shit hard, man. So I so that. I just want to um so fund your freedom challenge. We have our yep. five day. Yes, you want to go to letsfundyourfreedom.com. Make sure you register. We have VIP. That's what you want to do where you get to ask us questions. So everything that we broke down, we know y'all got questions. You know, mm -hmm. oh, nah, all right, cool. You get to spend five days with us. You get to ask us questions. We really get to break this down from A to Z. So again, $297. Wait, that's the VIP? Yeah. That's crazy. It's like we spent it on, on nothing. That's crazy. Two hundred ninety seven. We want to make sure it was affordable. And buy a bottle quick, but don't want to yeah. learn how to make more money. I yeah. mean, so. There you go. Not, I know it's obvious reasons, but like what. For a nigga that still don't get it right, you pay two ninety seven. Can you guarantee anything, or no? I say, I, I say, I can't guarantee you success. Right. But I could guarantee you that you won't be successful if you don't join. Right, so, <laughs> so, so hold up. Let's say, let's say, let's say, let's say, we, let's, say yeah. we, let's, 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 let's come in with something. Then. Okay. okay. We hit the minimum requires on a uh, credit. Oh. Can we guarantee something a little bit? Let's say ninety. Well, if you meet the me if you meet if, the requirement, if you meet guarantee every requirement that I tell you have to meet, guarantee you're gonna get some money, guarantee. Like, that's how the five, banks work. Five, like five requirements. We'll yeah. hold you to that. Less than ten percent utilization. No negative items. I don't care if it's a love ten dollar medical bill that you say I, I forgot about that. No, you can't have it. Uh, you got ten accounts, ten to twelve accounts. You got uh, less inquiries. You don't got that many inquiries, and then you got some age history. So probably three or four age history. If you meet those criteria. You're going to get some money. Mm. That because that's what I love about credit too is that it ain't no ifs and buts or maybe so or I might no. It's I'm going to get this bag because I meet the criteria that they want me to meet. So how do you like? Because when is y'all shit starting? Uh, May 29th to June 2nd. So let's say I'm gonna try to get this out ASAP. I'm, usually I'll be waiting, sitting on my shit. But let's say um I don't have it yet, but I'm trying to like I gotta pay somebody to get my credit right. Is, could I do that now or is it too late? Uh, I'm going to give you plays to be able to clean your credit up too. So I'm going to give you plays of what to do to clean your credit too. So I'm going to just look out for y'all and give y'all that money. Keep that money in their pocket. Yeah, I'm going to okay. tell you what to do. So you can just follow what I tell you to do and you'll okay. start cleaning it up. Mm -hmm. Damn, I appreciate y'all. That's a wrap. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. She was good. Yes, sir. <laughs>